Greetings. Hey, it's Doug over here at Community Lending Group. Now, last week for our mortgage moment, we started to discuss the steps to get ready to buy a home. We talked about strengthening your eligibility and building a mortgage team. This week, we're going to finish off by discussing the documentation you will need to gather. Now, sending in your documentation is a crucial part of the pre-qualification process because it allows me to validate exactly what income we can use, what your debt is, and your credit situation. And as I review the documents, it helps me determine if there's any issues we need to resolve or fix before putting in your first offer. So let's go ahead and discuss some of those documents you'll need to send in. I need your most recent one month of pay stubs. So if you're paid once a month, I just need one. If you're paid twice a month, I need two. And if you're paid weekly, I need your last four pay stubs. I will need W-2s for the past two years. Now this is all W-2s, even if you no longer work for that company. I will need bank statements for the past two months from whatever account you'll be drawing funds to close. Now, this includes all pages, not just the first page. So let's say that there's page one of six, then I will need all six pages. I'll need a copy of your driver's license. Now, you'll want to double check just to make sure it hasn't expired or will soon expire. Now, I usually need investment or retirement statements if you plan on using funds from this source for the down payment, or if you have rental properties, which I'll discuss in just a few minutes. And finally, I need any unique document which the underwriter will need, things such as bankruptcy papers, if you've had a bankruptcy or foreclosure in the last seven years, a divorce decree, if that applies to you, and any new debt that you might have just obtained in the past month that does not yet appear on your credit report. Now, if you're self-employed or you have rental properties, the list is a little bigger. I need your personal and business taxes for the past two years. And if you have rental properties, this is usually where I need your investment and or retirement statement because I need to show six months of reserves at your disposal. Now, this is just a general list. Your list might be a little larger or smaller, depending on your situation. But as part of the preparation process, you're going to want to set aside these documents and then get them to your loan officer so they can finish the prequalification process. Now, if you missed the first video in this series in which we talk about preparing to buy a home, where we discuss strengthening your eligibility and building your mortgage team, just check out my past reels on social media or go to YouTube and look for my channel, Mortgage Moment. Now really is a great time to buy a home. Just give me a call. I would love to answer any questions you might have and help map out a game plan specific to your needs. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you have a great day, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.